Does this put us at risk of sleepwalking into a world that we know nothing about if people are going to just avoid having these conversations out of sake of looking silly? Yes. Um, I have taken my friend Alexandros Marinos to task over the use of the term doomer. I don't think that he and I are terribly far apart analytically in terms of how dangerous we think the present is. I think he's a bit more, more hopeful that the ability of AI to solve problems that were formerly unsolvable uh, is being underrated. But we both believe there's a tremendous uh, and unacceptably large risk of catastrophe coming out of the AI era. Um, but I think the term doomer is very unhelpful because here, here's what I've said. There are five ways that I can see AI producing an absolutely terrifying catastrophe. Three of them are guaranteed. Okay. Now, am I a doomer? I didn't say anything about extinction. I think extinction is possible, but I don't think it's highly likely. I'm not convinced uh, of the, the two mechanisms of AI disaster that I don't think are guaranteed are malevolent AI decides to get rid of us or misaligned AI um, gets rid of us accidentally, right? I don't think those two are guaranteed. I'm concerned that they are more, more plausible than I would like, but those two are we could take them off the table and we're still left with three other disasters. And, um, you know, one disaster is bad enough. We have a fragile system that is not built in anticipation of these kinds of disruptions. Um, to have three of them happen simultaneously is going to strain the system to its absolute breaking point. But if I don't believe that misaligned AI is necessarily the thing to be worried about. Am I a doomer or am I not? Right? So anyway, my point is there is, if you're not concerned about what comes out of this revolution, then you haven't understood what it is, right? Everybody ought to be very concerned. Is extinction on the table? Yeah, I think it is because for one thing, we've got a system in which things can spiral out of control very easily, right? It doesn't take very much disruption to put nuclear nations uh, at loggerheads and nuclear nations at loggerheads is obviously potentially a recipe for extinction. So, you know, is extinction on the table? Yeah, it is. I mean, it's on the table before AI, but AI could easily create a pathway there where there wasn't one before. But um, I don't know how we discuss the the landscape of opportunities and hazards in appropriately serious terms without running the risk of being dismissed as doomers. And my feeling is the, the problem is the term doomer is nebulous, right? The term doomer is open to interpretation. And I think by some people's metric, I would definitely be one. I think there are three catastrophes coming from AI. That sounds like gloom and doom, right? Um, am I worried about misaligned AI? Less than some, right? Am I, you know, a, you know, a, a happy go lucky, what me worry kind of person who is ignoring the obvious hazard of a misaligned AI coming after me? Maybe, but anyway, the point is, look, you ought to be worried. Everybody ought to be worried. Is it possible that we get through this and we are better off in the end? Barely, I would say, but yeah. It's possible. Um, is it possible that this turns into a very mundane disaster, right? So I haven't laid out my taxonomy. I've given you the two types of AI disaster that are not guaranteed. Hopefully I can remember the other three uh, off the top of my head. Um, one of them is the malevolent use of AI by bad people. 100% guaranteed. Yeah. Um, Next one is human insanity that will come from us all interacting in a mostly invisible way with an entity that has access to our API, right? 
has access to our language and our emotional content, therefore has capabilities we don't understand. We don't really understand its motivational structure. And so the point is if everybody, you know, if everybody is, I've forgotten the name of the character who consults Cyrano de Bergerac for romantic help. Remember? <laughs> no idea. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> that guy, right? The handsome dude who gets Cyrano to write his love poems for him. Hmm. Um, if all of us are in the role of that guy consulting some thing that makes us seem smarter and more capable than we are, we're going to go insane, literally insane, trying to figure out what's true, who knows anything, right? Literal insanity is going to emerge from that. Yeah. And we've been through a trial run on literal insanity, right? COVID was us going, you know, three quarters of the way down that road. Um, so now, you know, we're going to, we're going to keep going down that road to the end of it and keep going even further still. So that seems to me uh, very dangerous given uh, what people are in charge of. And then the third most mundane of the guaranteed catastrophes to come out of this is a massive economic disruption that we're just not ready for, mm. right? You've got all these people who trained for something, have some job, some way of extracting resources from the economy and putting a roof over their families' heads. And we're just going to arbitrarily eliminate a bunch of their jobs, right? With no backup plan, even if we did, if, even if we came up with some emergency UBI program and figured out how to fund it without tremendous pain, whatever it is that we did, we just don't even have the mechanism to deal with the social implications of that number of people who has no meaningful purpose anymore because the stupid purpose that people have been running around following how do I get the economy to spit enough money at me to do what I want to do, right? That's not much of a purpose, but it's at least, you know, it tells you something about what you're supposed to do when you get up in the morning, right? A world of people who've been sidelined by AI who are then, you know, talking to each other in part using AI to make themselves seem smart. This doesn't go anywhere good. Mm. This is This is bad. So anyway, you can decide for yourself whether I'm a doomer because I see three guaranteed catastrophes or I'm a, uh, a, a fairy tale teller because I don't think um, misaligned AI is necessarily coming for us. Hmm. Um, but there it is.